Okay, so next thing we need is our partner store. Um, I'm going to uh, show you here. I'll give you a little tour of the back end of mine because you won't, won't have had one already. I'll show you kind of how it works and stuff. So you will need to uh, come to Shopify Partners. Now I'll put this URL in. I just noticed it says uh, shopify.co.uk. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be from the States. So that might not be the, the right link. So have a look. It might come up in the States or Canada or wherever you are. Um, for that so but it's probably be virtually exactly the same so all you need to do is add in your email address and I'll just see if I can uh, business name this will become your yep so uh, yeah it doesn't really matter too much what you call that uh, business name you might already have a business name already just add that in website just run down fill these in uh, custom app development C partner dashboard okay so once you filled that in you'll you'll get your partner account uh, and then looking back here in a partner account so this is inside a partner account I'm going to take you through uh, what happens in here so um, if you do have lots of partner accounts let's just see if I can log back out okay so here you can see I've got uh, several different accounts here. I'm going to use this one just to show you the example. Um, so you can create lots of partner accounts if needed, if you're handling stuff for other people and stuff like that, or if you've got your own projects and you're JVing on projects, you could set up a, another partner account if you wanted to do that. And I think, yep, yeah, if, if you click up here, we can just hit create new partner account. Okay, but for now, you only need one. So I'm just letting you know the options and stuff. Um, <clears throat> over here development stores so here here we can create stores for testing and stuff so you can create as many stores as you want I think I've never hit a limit before you just hit this create store button at the top fill in your details uh, give it a store name um, and then hit save and you'll have another store which will be under this development stores here okay so we can log into these stores quickly and easily just hit the login button and you're going to be using these stores for testing, okay? But just so you know, if you are creating your own store to actually launch real stores or you're creating stores for other people, you can create those stores in this development phase here. You can get everything ready uh, and then you can actually transfer that to a live store, okay? Once you do that, you have to start paying for it. Um, say you're doing it for clients and stuff, then as you, when you transfer that store to a client, then you will get affiliate commissions off their monthly recurring membership. So it's dead easy to log in. Um, let me just log in to this one. Just hit that login button and it takes you straight in, just like that. Uh, it all Everything's exactly the same. The only thing you can't do is install um, paid, uh, paid apps. So you can't even get the free trial because your bank details are not on here. You can't get the free trial. Um, when you have got a store, uh, no, in fact, I'll cover that when we're testing, actually. So, um, yeah, so just so you know, this is where all your test stores will be. The programmers will probably crank out a ton of them because as they uh, make changes and stuff, they'll be um, coming in here and, you know, doing their own testing as well. So you'll have a load of stores there for testing. Uh, manage stores, just I'll just cover this a little bit. Here is where we can access other people's stores. So once your app is actually launched um, and you're doing customer service and stuff, you may need to go into people's stores to help them or you know support them or whatever. So here we can go add client store. You can put the store URL in, click uh, gain full access and click save. What's gonna happen is they're gonna get an email and notification saying you've requested access. If they uh, accept that and give you access, this is a store I built for my wife, uh, that they're all stored here so you don't need login details you just come into your partner account and I've got another account with literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, people's stores on so trying to uh, have a, a password and you know stuff for that would be a nightmare I can come in here I can just scroll straight down I can hit login like that and it takes me straight into their store so I can support them so <clears throat> Uh, that's that referrals this just shows you uh, where you get your commissions you can see I built this Oof, 20th of October um, yeah 
uh, apps. So this is where your app is going to be stored. So this is where you kind of see your app and see what's happened. Now, if we click on this one, neither of these apps are launched. So you can see here when this actually does go live, it will show you where it's um, installed, where it's been installed, where it's been uh, uninstalled and stuff like that. So this tells you what goes on with your store. Here you can export uh, the email list as well. So as you progress through this, um, uh, as you progress through this and you want to uh, you know, market to your customers, don't forget you can export those email lists and you can get them over here into MailChimp. I may do another a video on that if you want me to. Uh, then you've got your earnings and stuff like that. So this kind of tells you about your app. Now, up here we've got the app info. This is, uh, the programmers will fill this in here, this API key. App icon, we'll cover that in a little while. It's going to be uh, with your graphics and stuff like that. Um, here, yeah, the programmers will handle that. Extensions, uh, I've never had to use that. I think that will be covered by the programmers, depending on your app. Over here, create app store listing. We'll be covering that further down the line and your options for that. But this is where we uh, basically add all the details for the listing, the graphics, the video, stuff like that. We'll be covering that later on. Let me just hit back on there, back to overview. So yeah, that's your app. Payouts, this is, you know, when once you start launch your app, uh, if you're doing it through Shopify, this is where your payouts are gonna be. Settings, team, resources, you don't really need any of that. So I just wanted to give you a breakdown of uh, how that kind of works and stuff. So essentially, when you very first set up, uh, all you need to do is get the account uh, and give the login detail to the programmers and save the login details with the rest of your login details. For now, that's all you need to do. Once they begin and once they start on your app and, and making your app, they will create a development store here. So you'll be able to go to development stores and then when you log into your store, just click the login button, you will soon end up with a ton of these stores. Go to apps and you will see that your app will be in there somewhere, okay? So, um, just thought one other thing I was gonna let you know about. Yeah, maybe uh, I'll just let you know about this uh, for now. Shopify do change things like Facebook like to change things all the time. But um, if you want to go and install this uh, somewhere, um, say you've got a friend, you know, your app's developing. This is going to be further down the line, but your app's kind of getting ready for testing and stuff like that. Then and you want to install it. You used to be able to do a nice easy URL, but Shopify kind of closed it in a bit for that. So you need to go to create app store listing. I just remember how to do this. Uh, edit submission form. View app listing there. Now here, get. Now then you can press get there. Now just make sure that you're, you know, you, you're going to need your friend's login details or you're going to need full admin access. Just make sure you uh, log in on another tab to that store. Go through the app, go to the app, go to the app, create app listing, view app listing. That will bring you to this page. Then you can hit get and then you can put in the store URL, hit login, and that will install it there as an unlisted and unpublished app. Okay. So again, you're not going to need that just yet. Uh, just so you know for further down the line that this is kind of how things are working in your in your partner's account. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's quick, it's easy. Um, just set it up, hand over the login details to the programmers and save your login details in your login folder. Okay, thanks guys. Bye for now.